Hey everyone, it's Aurora. So, today is November 4th, and as I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I am starting my hormone replacement therapy on November 11th. So, doing the math correctly, I have one week till hormones. So this is my last week living with all this testosterone clouding my mind. And yeah, so I'm feeling good. I just want to talk about a few things today, some updates, some information. So I have it all written down over here, so sorry if I'm glancing over here. So first thing, I have been wearing makeup more often. I'm not wearing makeup right now, though. How ironic. But I am wearing makeup just because I want to prepare people for how I'm going to dress and look and act once I go on hormones. Because I definitely will feel a psychological liberation once I start hormones. I know that physically I won't be too satisfied, but I will have estrogen like running through my veins, so I will be happy once I start. Um, and so, I, yeah, I've been wearing makeup more um, out of school. I don't really wear makeup to school. And I also have been dressing a little more feminine. I don't, I do not wear t-shirts anymore, you know, as identifying as a guy my entire life. I just wore t-shirts, you know, up to the neckline, boring, solid, one color, plain t-shirts and cargo pants. So now I'm starting to make it a little more interesting and wear sweaters and uh, jeans and leggings and uh, crop tops, florals, um, you know, anything, tank tops. Just expanding my palette a little bit more because <laughs> um, I have to. Also, I have been working on my voice. My voice is a problem for me, a problem for any trans woman. I have been not doing too much work on my voice, but I have been trying to fluctuate my voice a little bit more. Um, and I don't have too much resonance down here anymore. I definitely feel it. I am more in my throat now which I have learned because that was very, very hard to do at first. Get all, I still don't have all the residents out of here, but it was hard to get the residents out of here, you know, mostly, because I don't have too much residents, but I still, I still feel some. I'm, I, I'm seriously just starting my voice training, so sorry if it's not perfect. It's not where I want it to be, for sure. But, um... My voice hopefully will get softer on hormones. That's a rumor, but um, hopefully I'll be the lucky one. Okay, what else? Oh, preparing for boobs. That's one thing I wrote down. I really, I don't have a bra in my wardrobe. I, that's something I need to think of, right? I need to go and buy some bras. I just wanted to write that down and kind of remind myself in this video. Um, because my chest is going to hurt so much. I'm, and I'm, I want to be prepared for all that, that tenderness because it's going to suck. But I'm also excited for it. Is that weird? Let's, let's just keep that between us. I'm excited for the pain because... I got boobs out of it. Um, even if they're not that big, hey, I have boobs. Let's get over it. Nobody wants big boobs. Honestly, who wants big boobs? How inconvenient. Uh, emotions. I am preparing for emotions. Yes, that is <clears throat> that is very true. I think there are different stages of dysphoria in the life of a transgender person, and I think the dysphoria, once I start hormones, will be more serious, um, and, uh, not just dysphoria, I think, you know, I will be more emotional, I will be hormonal, and I'm literally doing all I can to prepare for that, like, warning people, sorry if I'm a bitch all the time, but it might happen, because I kind of already am a bitch, um, 
in all seriousness, though, yeah, I'm in a bad mood a lot of the times. Sorry, I just can't help it. So, the next thing. Um, I'm, I'm living this week without hormones. That's basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm living my life. I'm living this week, day to day, without hormones. And I've really been in my head a lot lately. I've just been thinking a lot about how this really is my last week. Okay, this is not a technically correct way to say this, but just let me frickin' say it. No one attack me. This is my last week kind of living as a guy. And that's a big deal for me. Like, I know once I turn, once I start hormones, I won't instantly turn into a girl. Trust me, God, I know that. But this is my last week without hormones. And that, that's just, that's something I really need to reflect on and think about how far I've come. And it's just, it's a lot. It's just, I, I've come such a long way and I can't believe I, I just have one more week. It's crazy. Um, yeah, I have therapy this week. I, my, I go to my just regular therapist, someone I just talk to about my problems, about good things that are going on, just to talk to. Um, I go to her on Wednesday, so tomorrow. And so that will be a nice experience. Um, and that's basically all I had for y'all today. Yeah. Um, oh, I wrote down one last thing. Skype. Um, I know some people have been asking me if they want to Skype. I did set up my Skype account and I am going to put the link to my Skype in my channel description thing. So I don't know if I will be able to Skype all the time because I am busy with a lot of schoolwork. Honestly, I'm not just lying. And I, if you message me and say, do you want to Skype, I will get back to you as soon as I can and come up with some kind of date to Skype. Okay, that's all I have to say. This video is going to glitch or something. I hope it doesn't delete by accident because that's happened before. I'm sorry about this quality again, but hopefully I'll get my camera fixed. Okay, I will make a video as soon as possible, and until then, I will see you later. Bye.